U.S. Navy officials issue a stunning statement that the Navy is developing new policies to make it easier for pilots and other military personnel to file official reports about encounters with unexplained aerial phenomenon, otherwise known as UFOs. And what's behind this dramatic announcement, and is it related to the UFO videos which were made public at the end of 2017? The I-Team's George Knapp live in studio with an exclusive update. Now, this statement by the Navy is startling. It was done in response to what the Navy says is an increasing number of intrusions of our airspace by unknown craft. It comes after 15 months of conflicting statements from the Pentagon about secret UFO research, including claims that the study, sponsored by Nevada Senator Harry Reid, wasn't really about UFOs, and that the three videos weren't really released by the Department of Defense. Suffice to say, we now know those Pentagon statements are not accurate. The U.S. Navy's 2004 encounter with an object called the Tic Tac UFO. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. The 2015 incursion by multiple unknowns off the coast of Florida, dubbed Gimbal. <laughs> and a zippy craft aptly known as Go Fast. Two of these three videos were made public in December 2017, released simultaneously by the New York Times and the To The Stars Academy. The provenance of the videos has been disputed ever since. The video was released by the Department of Defense. The Department of Defense made the decision to release them. Someone gave it a green light. Absolutely. And it wasn't me. Lou Elizondo was a career intelligence officer who for nearly a decade directed ATIP, a secret Pentagon effort that studied and analyzed UFO cases, encounters between unknown craft and military units. The program was initiated at the insistence of Nevada Senator Harry Reid. In 2017, Elizondo left the Pentagon, in part because he felt these incidents were not being given the priority they deserve. But before he left, he initiated a process to get the three videos and many more declassified so the public could see them. He insists these encounters are not isolated incidents. ATIP did find a lot of stuff. This wasn't just a one-off looking at the Nimitz incident. There were many, many incidents we looked at and we looked at them on a continuing basis. Pentagon spokespersons have been fuzzy about the legitimacy of the videos and critics have pounced on the ambiguity, but the I-team has now obtained part of the paper trail. This is a DD-1910, the final step in a multi-step process issued by the Department of Defense Office of Pre-Publication and Security Review. The request specifies the three videos, Go Fast, Gimbal, and FLIR, which was the original name for Tic Tac. Some personal information has been redacted, but the document shows authorization for release was granted on August 24, 2017. The I-Team has also acquired the DOD directive, which spells out how the release procedure works. This form shows the videos were released by the book. Senator Reid, who helped initiate the ATIP program, has confirmed there's a lot more where these came from. You cannot just hide your head and say it does. these things aren't happening. We have military installations where hundreds and hundreds of people who are there see these things. After the I-Team obtained the paperwork, we asked Elizondo if this is the form he filed with the Pentagon. He said he's not authorized to comment, that it's up to the Department of Defense. It is known that the three videos and the pilots involved in those encounters were part of several closed-door briefings given to Congress over the past year. High-ranking Navy officials joined some of those briefings and reportedly were just as surprised as congressional staff. That ongoing effort is what led to last week's stunning announcement by naval officials. They now want to encourage pilots to report unusual encounters without fear of damaging their careers. The briefings for Congress underway for the past year or so were arranged by a man named Chris Mellon, who formerly worked for the Senate Intelligence Committee and also for the Department of Defense. Mellon, now with To The Stars Academy, sent a statement to us saying that after senior Navy officials joined the briefings, they realized it was, quote, indefensible to not have a system that allows more reporting of these incidents. We have his full statement and other supporting material on our website, and we want to thank Senator Reid for his help in obtaining documentation related to this report. More to come.